Hey everybody, I'm your player Mad Mook right here in Survive the Nights. Uh, we are playing solo, and uh, this is night three, or day three, I guess. And uh, yeah, we'll continue on with uh, trying to find... Uh, we got a safe place to stay. Um, I do have to find a way of locking the door and maybe doing some fortification on this little apartment place that we're in. Also, um, I want to find the like AR-15 assault rifle type type gun and ammo for it of course but uh yeah i don't know if i'm gonna have any luck finding that uh so far we haven't found it hadn't, hadn't find it anywhere and even on uh, multiplayer it's hard to find but uh fingers crossed we'll find that and then after all that hopefully we'll do a horde in maybe day day three or four all right so all right, so we are in the apartment, looks like. Yep, day three. All right. Okay, so doesn't appear there's anything in here. I do have a double barrel shotgun, Clinchester, and I think uh, an M357, I think. Let's check our inventory real quick. Got a, quite a bit of ammo. A lot of tools, uh, axe heads, you know, I could probably drop that. A Bateman and uh, cat food. Let's uh, let's actually go and drop off our canned food up here. I think it's our canned food. Nope, that's the boxes. Let's do canned food. Here's our cans. I don't have a can opener right now, so there's no sense in me carrying it. Cat food. Well, when it comes to survival, you're going to have to have... Uh, you're going to have to just eat what you can eat. <laughs> Alright, so, we got a couple more cans in here. Oh, spinach. Alright, so, so, we got that. Let's look in here, uh, this one here. This one will be like our tool, tool bin. I'll throw, uh, the air horn in there, uh, some batteries, wow we got a lot of batteries, uh, axe head for sure in there, uh, cardboard, might as well throw that in there, circuit breakers, throw that in there as well, um, compass snow, I want to carry that, a draw knife, I don't remember picking that up, but, uh, firecrackers, hacksaw, actually I'll keep that, I'll throw the hammer in there, hatchet I'll keep, uh, I did find some jerry cans, that's always handy. Flashlights, we got a large LED flashlight and a large flashlight. M357, that's a revolver. Map, Emery. Oh, nails, a whole bunch of nails. Let's throw those in there, no sense holding those. Nuts, yep. Uh, I'll keep the pliers. A Ruger, a Rouser. That might be pretty entertaining and maybe pretty usable. Looks like it takes 9mm. We got quite a few 9mm. Let's throw the reinforced bars in there. Rubber hose, scrap metal, and one screwdriver. I'll carry one. Sharpening stone, I'll keep that. Small LED flashlight, I'll keep on to that as well. Washing fluid. Okay, that's it. Alright, so that's kind of like our tool chest type of place. Alright, looks like we don't have anything in here. Nope. Alright, so hopefully today we'll find, uh, of course that AR-15 type rifle would be a great, but uh, keeping an eye out for lock kits and uh, of course ammo, always. I'm surprised there's no, uh, no zombies in here. There's got to be a zombie in here. Kind of surprised there's no zombies. Making it too easy. That's one thing that, uh, with not being multiplayer, you can only rely on what you can find, so it kind of makes it a little bit more challenging that way, I think. It's not like you can find a, uh, oh yeah, the Jeep. I brought the Jeep over here. Forgot about that. 
Alright, it was parked over there by the gas station. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's start out with that gun shop. I think that, where was that gun shop at? I think it was over here, beyond this alley. Let's just run through here. I'll probably pick up, pick up a couple zombies. Yep, there's a gun shop. Alright. Screwdriver, bad condition, my hatchet's bad condition. Oh, that's a flashlight. I want to use that. Another flashlight. And another flashlight. Just because it's got three flashlights. He did. Alright, just one uh, one zombie in there. Oh wow. My health is not very good. Good, good. No. Jeez. Glad that uh, I used both shots on that one. We'll try to make a cleaning rag today. Actually, let's close this door. Looks like another Clinchester is in here. Let's see, I think I got uh, gauze wrap, I think. Bandage, no bandage. Uh, gauze pad. Let's use that. Okay. So that healed us up 50%. That's uh, awesome. Oh, some ammo. 308 ammo. Doesn't appear to be anything else in here. Bummer, other than that Clinchester over there. We'll pick it up. It's hard to leave a gun behind. Might have ammo in it too. wants to join him. Didn't find anything in there. Unfortunately, it's just here. Oh, another rouser rig. Awesome. It's like a pistol. I think it's a 9mm. I'll check that here in a minute. Actually, I'm going to go back to this garden shop. Let's make a cleaning kit. Alright, so, cleaning kit. It's a crafting item. I know it takes. Actually, you know what? I don't know what. Uh, let's see. What does a lock kit take? Screwdriver. Combination lock. A hasp and staple. I don't think I've seen that before. Alright, let's go to a cleaning rag. I think a cleaning rag obviously needs clean rags, so. Okay, cleaning kit. Wires pliers, we got that. Uh, wire spool. Okay, so we'll have to keep an eye out for some scrap metal. Which we can easily find that in the trash, I believe. Yeah, this stuff here. Got one scrap metal. And uh, what's in here? Chicken ransom, cardboard, and water bottle. Empty. Let's go check this truck real quick. Two scrap metal. Cardboard. And another scrap metal. Alright, so we got, uh, I think, four scrap metals. Generator. What's this dude doing? He's like, he died. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to the gun shop. Oops, wrong key. This ain't the gun shop, but this is a safe area. Looks like got me out of the water. Radio, I'll take that. I don't know who I'm going to be talking to all by myself, but... Alright. Alright, so let's make some wire spool. Or, yeah, wire. Wire spool. Okay, so we need scrap metal. Craft. Okay.
Oh, there's that hospital staple, so we can use that to make a lock, uh, a lock kit. For now, we're going to do a wire spool. It's a Kraft Max. Okay, so we just got one. Cleaning kit. So we have everything we need. We have the pliers. Oops. Okay, let's, uh, let's craft that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's actually use that on this gun. Shot double barrel shotgun. Cleaning kit. I don't know how well this is going to clean it. I think you had to use two if it was bad enough. But. All right, let's check the double barrel. Okay, brought it up 71%. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Uh, flashlight. We got a flashlight. Small. Let's put the uh, large LED flashlight on there. Oh yeah, looks like they zip stripped it on there. Oh yeah, there it is. That's kind of cool. Alright, so let's actually turn that on. I think uh, V, maybe? Yep. Look at that. That's awesome. That'll definitely come in handy. Alright, so what else can we do with a shotgun? Do I still have a hacksaw? I think you can make a, uh, yeah, you can. Yep, double barrel sawed off shotgun. Hopefully we don't lose a flashlight. Crafting canceled, I wonder why. So what happened to our double barrel? Oops. Alright, where is our double barrel sawed off shotgun? Winchester. There it is. Look at that. Nice, neat, short. No flashlight on there. Hopefully, we didn't lose a flashlight. Let's test this bad boy out. Come on out. I was hoping maybe we can get a couple of them, but... Where are you going? I'm over here. Oh, you're not paying attention, are you? Oh, almost blew him into that window. Some maps, we don't need that. What's it down there? Wheat cereal box. I won't eat that, or I'll take it anyway. Dog food, hey, can't be picky. Pineapple. Can. Alright. Alright. So, I haven't had any luck finding lock kits, so let's look at uh, crafting our own lock pick. I think I can do that with, uh, I believe, the pliers. Um, where are the pliers? Uh, oh, there they are. Okay. Combination lock, do it yourself. Uh, okay, let's do this. So we need wires. Oh, that's a cleaning kit. No, I don't want that. Hmm. Alright, so let's find more scrap metal. We're definitely going to need that for our door. One plank. We need a lot of scrap metal. Looking for scrap metal. That's rancid chicken. Not exactly what I'm looking for. 
Hey, there's one scrap metal. What's this here? Can of mushrooms. Don't mind if I do. Two scrap metal. What I need to find is like a vehicle. A blown down vehicle or something. Broken down, I guess, not blown down. Two more scrap metal found. Search these? No. There's a vehicle. Two scrap metal. Three scrap metal. Perfect. Three more scrap metal. All right, let's get out of this rain. Check this vehicle right quick. Oh, I think I already checked that one. That's why I can't search it now. Uh, all right. Let's go back into the gun shop. A safe place. Alright, so scrap metal. Let's go to the crafting menu. Scrap metal. And, uh. Combination lock. We need the lock kit. Definitely need that. No tools required. So we need a do it yourself lock. Or combination lock. And a hasp and staple. So let's go back. Let's do a hasp and staple. It's two scrap metal. All right, let's do one of these. Actually, we probably should do two, because I want to use two. Let's do two. All right, there's two of those. Oops. Back to the list. Combination lock, do it yourself. Um, or DIY, do, DIY. Takes two of those, we'll need two of them. Two strap, scrap metal, so four all together. I do not appear to be getting any experience points crafting anything. Alright, lock kit. Alright, so we can make one. Should be able to make two of these. Very cool. Alright, so we got two do it, uh, lock kits. So let's uh, get back over to our little, little place. Oh, this is not our place. Okay, right there is our place. Not too far of a run. Thought somebody would have came after me. Definitely hear something walking around somewhere. Is it my place? Yep. How dare you come in here? It's because I didn't have a lock kit on the door, so they spawn in here. After you get a lock kit, they don't spawn anymore. It must be downstairs. All right, let's uh, throw that on there. Perfect. It's a week, but although, okay. Um, well, no one's on here, so probably just leave it all zeros. I imagine. No, oh, you can't lock it. All right, so let's go one thousand then. There we go. I'll well throw this one down down here. Make that a thousand as well. There we go. So we got that door locked down. Can't open it. Um, yeah, there you go. 
Probably if I was on uh, multiplayer server, I'd probably not show that. But uh, I think we're safe. Yeah, let's lock that. And, uh, oops, not that. That one down there. Boom. There we go. I should keep that safe for now. Boom. Oh, crap. <laughs> Oh no! Ow! Didn't load my weapon. Stupid. Boom! Wow. Blew him across. Across the way. Alright, so we got, uh. Well, we got the door locked. Uh. I mean, I want to put more stuff on it. Don't, don't get me wrong. Um. Definitely want to do some more fortification type stuff. So let's uh, let's look at the uh, let's get back here. No, I don't I don't want phase I want all. There we go. All right, so I'm thinking bear trap that might be coming handy. Barbed wire. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Plywood. Propane trap. That uh, propane fire trap. That might actually be pretty handy. Reinforced plank. No. Spike barricade. What does that take? Nails and timber. And saw and the. I don't think I have a handsaw. I got a hacksaw. Oh, it takes me all these. Alright, so where was that? Let's see, wooden barricades, timber. Alright, so we're gonna have to get an axe to make that stuff. So, what I'm probably gonna do is uh, cut some trees down. I'll skip that and then come right back when, uh, when we have some more things to build. Be right back. All right. Well, unfortunately, apparently the handsaw is like a guarded secret in this game. I cannot find it anywhere. Unfortunately, everything that I wanted to make require requires a handsaw. Hacksaw does not work. So unfortunately, and a workbench. But I did find a workbench, but no handsaw. And I kind of went running around for over an hour trying to find a handsaw and unfortunately it does not work I did find a lock kit so I will uh, let's go throw a lock kit up here mm, throw it right on there there we go actually let's go in lock up the door keeping it at a thousand Oh, no, no. I don't want to have to guess it if, in case, I don't know what might happen, but. Okay, let's reset that. Reset. Ow. All right. Four eight six one. Come on. Four eight six one. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. And this one as well. Alright, so now we got three locks. One weak, one strong, and one weak. So two weak, one strong. It's something. And, uh... I think this is... Yeah, there's nothing in here. If we find more, we'll lock up that door as well. But, uh, I think this is, uh... What we're gonna call it right here. So we fortified this place. And, uh... 
So I did not find that uh, AR-15. And I'm thinking I might just uh, forget about that one. Because uh, I know I won't be able to get into a police station to obtain that rifle. Even, even when I played on multiplayer, getting into the police station was very difficult. And I can only expect it's not going to be any different on, uh, on this. So, and of course, even then, on multiplayer, I didn't find the AR-15, or assault rifle. So, I'm going to cut it right here. I'm your player, Mad Mook, and this is Survive the Night Solo. And, uh, yeah, have a good one.